Hi, my name is Louie, and today I simulated an entire solar system from this ugly mess to this beautiful simulation. Let's take a look at how I did it. Simulating solar systems can be a little bit confusing, but by the help of Sebastian Lake's video on solar systems and actually Newton, yeah, yeah, the, the Apple guy, uh, I, I eventually got it working. We have this function here called get custom velocity, in which we loop through every single planet in the game. Firstly, we just need to check that that planet isn't ourselves. Now we have quite a lot of variables here. We have the offset, the square distance, and the force direction. Let's start with the offset. This is pretty simple. We just use our planet position minus our position. So the planet we are moving from. That wasn't explained so well. So let's, let me, let me do it even better. Okay, we have the sun, right? And then we have the earth here and the earth is running that function get custom velocity all right where is it supposed to go well this right we're looping we're doing four planet in planets this is code it's i ran out of space um and the planet is the sun i know that makes zero sense but that that's just how it is and this is this is our yeah this is us Currently, we are we are the Earth. I th I think that's a song. And then we need to get the Earth's velocity, which is like okay, we go this direction. Let me do it in red, uh, and then you know eventually we're gonna loop the. Th that's how it works. Somehow I confused myself even more with this. It works, okay. <laughs> and then we need to get the square distance, which is just the offset dot length squared then we need to get the direction which is basically just offset dot normalized uh, paint louis is back how does normalized work why, why didn't i explain okay here's how so we have the starting position in red and then we have the actual position right here what offset normalized is is that this obviously has a line draw this this is like the 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 difference in between them what offset or what normalized does is it just draws a little circle and then it gets the position of this point so it doesn't get the actual position it just gets the direction all of these are really simple to create but the force one is a tad bit more complicated although it's not really that complex so we start with a parentheses and then force direction times our own mass times the planet's mass and the planet's mass means not the planet we are moving but the planet we are moving from or towards basically like that then we divide that by the square distance and then we times all of this by the gravitational constant i don't know if that seemed complex basically it's all based off of this newton law thing maths how do you do maths who knows it works now, but it doesn't look... How do I say this, uh, nicely? Uh, it doesn't look... Redonkulous. Yeah, it doesn't look redonkulous, so we obviously have to fix that. Let's add some clouds. I, I think that's gonna work. It looks... okay. Uh, but not, not redonkulous. It, how, how do you make stuff look redonkulous? I searched this up. Surprisingly, no results, but let's get back to work. Eventually, I decided to go for a similar style to the game A Short Hike. This uses 3D graphics, but they look like pixel art, and that is probably one of the most stunning indie games I've ever seen. So, a few hours later, I got it looking somewhat okay. Uh-oh. Uh, the, the, the planets, they, they crashed. Oh, oh, no. What? Oh, there's only one planet in the solar system now. There isn't really much more to this project. Lastly, I added in a spaceship. This is th trying to land. Ah! No. On a planet here is 
Come on. Impossible. You can't do it. I trust me. I've tried so many times. Uh, no, no. Come on, come on, come on. No. And that's really it for this video. I hope you really enjoyed. This has been one of the most fun projects I've ever worked on. Uh, I tried a pretty different editing style for this video. So I really, uh, wanna hear what you guys think about that. Um, I would really appreciate if you join my Discord. There's m almost daily at this point updates on the games and projects I'm working on. And uh, also play my new game on itch.io. It's not this, there will be a video out about that in the very near future. Until next time.